This is Twit. Look into your crystal ball, my friend. Yeah. Starship 2024. How many of them are stacked up? I think there's, last I saw, there was either four or five standing in a row, like good soldiers waiting to go. Oh, yeah. And they've got other ones. Uh, They've got other ones, like, uh, under construction right now. Yeah. Uh, This week was the the commercial space conference uh, that the FAA uh, works together with the commercial space flight federation uh, to put on every year. And um, as part of that, Ars Technica uh, got an interview with um, uh, an official at the FAA with that, with that commercial space division um, who said that SpaceX actually has asked, you know, is seeking a waiver to be able to, uh, to launch up to nine starship missions in 2024, Alone, and this uh, this I think came from uh, was it Eric Berger over at Arctica? It was. It was Eric. Berger. Is it ever anybody else? No, <laughs> he actually got an award for his work uh, covering commercial space flight. So congratulations, uh, Eric Berger, on that 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 award this week from that conference. Um, but yeah, yeah, this this is interesting because it shows that uh, SpaceX is is looking at that uh, at this year as a, a pretty crucial kickoff for starship not one-off uh tests and then they're back down they're looking to scale it so that they can get to where they need to be we've already talked on the show several times i think right rod about how spacex needs to fly a lot of test flights a lot of tests well and we're not the only people talking about it i think there's probably some people at nasa whispering in the halls i hope these guys start flying these things faster because we got a date to keep on the moon that's right What, 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 what did we talk about last time was it 14 ish or so well so that uh, was the that's the number that's been going around but as i recall the in that press conference where bill nelson finally <laughs> finally pulled the pull the knife on the spacex rep i think she said 10 or more if i remember correctly yeah which yeah, is still but, a lot so, so, you know, and that, that's that, a that, lot that, of fast tanking and launching and, and let's not forget they got to get the chemicals down to starbase because they mm-hmm. truck them in they don't make them there they got to get a lot of propellant down there to do and, that and that was basically for one one trip to the moon uh, for an Artemis, right. uh, a crewed landing. Uh, just right. to be clear, it, it would be it would be you launch a Starship, then you launch between ten and fourteen more to refuel it, and then send it to the uh, send it to the moon. That sort of a thing. So to to demonstrate that scale, um, uh, SpaceX is, is hoping maybe to launch up to nine of them. They were talking to the to um, uh, Kevin Coleman. Eric was at the uh, he's the administrator for the uh, commercial space transportation. Uh, office at the FAA, and he's the one that said they're, they're working to try to get through this licensing process, and so that's a lot of launches. You know, if, well, they, but it's a lot of launches, but at that rate, it will take over a year to refuel one one lunar lander. Yeah, so they're going to have to step it up over that fast. Exactly. So, so that 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 is one. Actually, you know, I hadn't even thought about that as a pace, yeah, right? right? Because the vehicle's not done yet. I think it's important to say that the vehicle's not done yet. What SpaceX has shown is right. that. They can launch slow to iron out the kinks and then they can just like launch, 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 launch. We've seen that over the last year. They might launch up to 115 uh, missions uh, this year alone. With the Falcon 9. With yeah. the Falcon 9, yeah. And and they launched 96 uh, with Falcon 9 missions yeah, last, what a uh, rate, huh? last, last year. And so... That's uh, so, what one every three and a half days, three point oh three gosh, days, it was, something like that. Can you imagine? There was a John, Falcon 9 John's launch. doing the math right now, but yeah, <laughs> there was a Falcon Nine launch last night. Um, but uh, it was a Starlink launch, by the way. Um, but uh, uh, the reason I bring this up is because, in addition to Eric's great story, everyone should go read it uh, over at Ars Technica. There was an interesting interview uh, on X, which you know I think we still call it Twitter over here. And, and this interview was by, uh, she's a, a writer, Catherine Brodsky. She had one of those live, those X lives or Twitter lives with mm-hmm. Elon. And in that discussion, which was picked up by, um, uh, the San Antonio, uh, express and a few or express news and a few other publications in that interview, Elon is like, Hey, yeah, so we're, we're, we're getting ready for the third flight and it's probably going to be in the, the first or second week of, of March. So there's a, there's another timeline, right. About them getting ready to, to launch that, uh, that vehicle. And, uh, and at the same time, there's news coming out that they're going to be expanding the, the, the Starbase, uh, uh, headquarters, uh, you know, I think somewhere to the tune of a hundred million, uh, dollar expansion there that I'd seen, uh, just recently out of the, um, the Brownsville, uh, news area. Uh, so there's a lot of things scaling up for sure to try to reach the, not just this nine flight launch rate, uh, because if they if they if they get through even half of that this uh, th- this year they'll have to scale that up 
what twice two, right. two full, well maybe more so to to address that uh since we're talking about brilliant engineering our, our brilliant uh, john on the on the board says not four days not, not one launch every four days not one every 4.1 days but one every 4.11 days <laughs> last year so that last gives, year but that's the falcon 9 that's the falcon 9 and we spacex have, Space, they want to they want to launch one of these things and bring it back and fuel it up and launch at the same day, you know. Yeah. So that's, that's that's where they want to get to uh, right now, and you know they'll get there eventually. I think because that's the one thing I've learned from SpaceX and Elon Musk is they they may not get there on the timetable that Elon says with his optimistic timelines, um, but yeah. eventually, um, if the business case is there, which it was for reusable flight, uh, as we've seen, uh, they will eventually get there because they've, I think they've they've flown. As many dragons, uncrewed and crewed, um, um, as uh, space shuttle missions, if if memory serves, um, that'd be one hundred and thirty-five. Yeah, I'm not, I, I mean, as time, it's, I, I, mean, I would have to double check. Like, don't we, quote we, me on that. I, I I saw that stat somewhere from SpaceX, and I would have to go back and. Sorry, check. I, I already <laughs> I already chiseled it into my phone tablets here. Um, you know, it, it's, it's so you're absolutely right. You know, his timetables are, are wackadoodle and they're all over the place. And, you know, we were hearing we were going to be on Mars in 2018, and that kind of stuff. But betting against Mr. Musk does not seem to be a winner's game. No. I ain't bet, do, doing any bets on, on Twitter slash X or at this point, maybe even Tesla in the long haul. But certainly for SpaceX, I mean, just nothing else even comes close. And of course, he's got this secret superpower, not so secret superpower, which is win shot well running the day-to-day -day operations there like a beast. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's it, they're just unstoppable. I mean, when one co company comes out of basically nowhere and says, we're going to take over the launch business, and NASA and Air Force, everybody else goes, yeah, kid, that's nice. Step outside the circus tent and sweep up after the elephants, please. And then the next thing you know, he's monopolized a big chunk of the world's launch market that not even governments can compete with. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. He said there's a 70 to 80% chance of a success for this third flight, which is better than the last one, I guess. So Yeah, but that's a little bit of guesswork there, wouldn't you think? I th yeah, yeah. You have to take it with a grain of salt. I'm not sure how much science is behind a lot of that. I have to take so. it with a, with a whole shaker. Hey, if you enjoyed this clip, be sure to check out This Week in Space. You can find us on your favorite podcast app or see the link in the description below. See you there. <laughs>